Hi there and welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk a bit more about this page review screen and some of the tools that are built into it. We've kind of danced around it in some of the other videos, some of the features. Um, first off, the title is always at the top of the page. So you're always able to see exactly what page you were looking at. That's what this is here. And we have this little convenience click where you can visit the link in a browser. Now it's gonna give you a bit of an operational security warning saying, hey, you're about to go view this page. Are you sure you wanna do this? This is so that you don't accidentally click through to a page that you know you you didn't want to actually revisit or maybe someone is monitoring so clicking okay will take you directly to that live site which is worth noting okay so some of the other tools that we can use here as we mentioned before in a previous uh, video we can add a note we can mark a page as important we can also export a page so we can export the mhtml this is the raw content that hunchly has captured in the background and we can send that off to somebody if they want to view it in google chrome or we can also do a little brief pdf report and this pdf report is just simply the single page exported with some of the metadata associated with it so we'll let it show up on the desktop here and i'll open it up in chrome so that you can see what it looks like okay cool so what do we have? We have kind of the exported date, the page ID, the URL. We have the timestamp captured, the timestamp updated. So on social media sites, for example, as you're continuing to browse, it will continue to update that snapshot of the content. So that's what that updated snapshot is. We have the hash of the actual page that was captured. We have the page data that was extracted. So this will be included as well. And that's kind of the cover sheet. And then underneath we have the full PDF content of the page now keeping in mind that when exporting to pdf you are likely always going to run into small artifacts or weird things where the content might look slightly out of place or uh, there might be something that when the pdf gets rendered it's not going to give you the most clean output if you need perfectly clean output i always 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 recommend that you export the pdf and you also, alongside of it, export the MHTML. And the reason for that is the hashes, the file names will be identical. So when you send them both over, you're gonna have a file name that has this big hash, which is the hash of the page. Alongside the PDF, you can send both of those to people and instruct them that, hey, the PDF content might not render in the same way, but if you open the MHTML content, so if we go open with, and this is uh, very quick, we can just go more apps and you're gonna wanna select Google Chrome and always use Chrome to open it. The uh, procedure on Mac and Linux is gonna be different. And you can see that this is the capture off of our disk of the MHTML file. It's much cleaner, less artifacts, and that is just the nature of the beast. PDF, so we would love to have perfect content captures, but they just don't work that way. So that's how we can export data out of um, a single page view. Now in the page info part, we have a lot of the data we've seen in the PDF report, but there's a couple of things here that we can also do. So if for example, we wanted to add the social media tag, we can do that from within the dashboard. So now this page has actually been tagged with social media. So you don't always have to go back and revisit a page in order to apply those tags. If there were any selector hits on this page, they would also show up in here. We also have the page data, which we previously explored. And then we have the page path. So this is telling us the websites that we were at before we came to this particular site. Now this is kind of the end of the chain, but if we continue to browse off of Mark Zuckerberg's page, we would also see other pages underneath this load. So you'll always get two pages before and the two pages after. So this is something that's really useful just to kind of get a feel for how you arrived somewhere and maybe where you went afterwards, okay? So the only other thing that I'd like to show you is that what you filter on the front side of the site will change how you browse in the back. So let's just take, for example, we'll apply the Justin site selector as a filter and let's click on the top link here. Okay, cool. So we can see now it's telling us filtering by Justin sites. And if we use either the next or previous buttons, we'll continue to cycle through each of the pages that have that selector applied. And you can also use the left and right arrows on your keyboard to very quickly cycle through. If you don't wanna move your mouse around, you can use the left and right and you'll continue to cycle through those pages. And then remembering that if you wanna go back to viewing all the pages, you're just gonna to wanna to clear out the filters that you have there. So that's a very nice, 
easy, quick way to do evidence and case review and review the pages you have, apply tags afterwards or take additional notes. And it can all be done from within the dashboard. This is, doesn't even require an internet connection. All of this data is being loaded locally and uh, is completely secure. So if you have any questions or you run into any problems doing this, please just send me an email, support at hunch.ly. Thanks.